We've got the floor all prepped now. We swept the deck all off. It's ready for vinyl. This one's getting a tan woven teak plank. So we'll show you the process for laying that. This will ship straight to your house. FedEx will bring you, your FedEx driver might not be super happy because it's heavy and it takes up half of his truck, but they will deliver this straight to your house for you to install. We've got it, uh, the wrapping cut off. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread it out across the boat lengthwise. I think what gets people intimid intimidated with this floor is that they're afraid they're gonna see the lines crooked. We're gonna show you those steps to make sure your lines are nice and straight and how to glue it down. But first things first, I gotta stretch it the length of the boat so I can trim off some excess in the front and the back. So we've got it spread all the way. I'm gonna make sure I have excess on the back and the front here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim most of that excess off. Normally we leave it hang, we flip it side to side, but on this, I need to measure a point on my plywood as well as on my vinyl so I can line these lines up. And the best way to do that is to make sure that I'm cut flush with the vinyl on the wood. I'm gonna measure first on the side, front and back of how much overhang I have there. That way I know that I'm relatively square across the boat. So when I make my cut, it's gonna help keep things square there too. This roll of vinyl is a little bit wider than eight and a half feet. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is only an eight foot deck. So I am gonna have quite a bit of overhang on each side usually a few inches. I've got things squared up on the sides. So now I can go ahead and trim that front piece. We'll take our measurement to line up our lines and go from there. So I've cut it pretty much flush on the front, maybe leave a half inch, quarter inch of overhang. We'll do the same on the back. I've got a square cut. This is the important part. I'm gonna take a tape measure. I'm gonna measure out to roughly halfway. I usually end up leaving it a little bit under, so halfway would be right here. So we're gonna actually line up, this line is pretty close right here to 47 inches. So what I'm gonna do is make a mark on my plywood first at 47 inches. Now I'm gonna go to the back and measuring from the same, I measured from the starboard side, same side, I'm gonna measure in 47 inches that way I can pick this line to line up with my 47 inch mark. So I'm gonna do my best to get this line lined up with that mark on my plywood on the front and the back. Then I'll clamp the front and pull everything snug and tight to the back, make sure that's still lined up. And that generally is gonna make all of my lines nice and uniform and straight. Got that front lined up. I'm gonna put a clamp on that to hold it in place. We'll go to the back and line that up. We're lined up front to back. Now I'm gonna grab an extra set of hands and we're gonna just pull everything snug before we roll it once lengthwise. That way we stretch everything out, get it in a position, then we'll roll one last time to make sure any of the big bubbles are rolled out of it. I'm gonna take a big, it's about a four and a half foot wide piece of PVC pipe, three inch. I'm gonna roll it lengthwise to get rid of any more wrinkles or bubbles. Then we'll clamp front and back and get to gluing. Everything's nice and square. If you look down the lines, they are straight. So what I'm gonna do is add a piece of wood that just gives me a little bit broader area to clamp. We're gonna go right at that halfway point. Our line is still lined up. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. Clamps are in place. Our lines are still lined up. We're gonna peel one side back at a time. We've got the D128 Deckmate adhesive. We'll apply it to one half with a paint roller, short nap brush, and then we'll roll everything back, roll it out so everything's held down to the deck and repeat the same process on the other side. We're gonna time lapse this because it's gonna take us about 30, 45 minutes to get everything done, but we'll speed it up for your sake. So as you saw, 
we laid the glue, we rolled it out with a PVC pipe, putting my body weight down on it, just trying to put a bunch of pressure down to roll any wrinkles out, smooth everything out. Lines still look great and straight. So we're now gonna remove our clamps from the center. Then we're gonna roll this other side back and apply the glue just like we did. We'll put it back down. It's gonna take almost a whole gallon on each side. If you apply it thick, just keep working it till it's uniform and then smush it down with the vinyl. That's gonna help get that felt backing on the vinyl to stick to the deck. But we'll do that, we'll roll it out. And then I just take a razor blade or a shop, uh, sharp box cutter and that will help you trim the edges. Other side is rolled out. Last steps are gonna be trimming the excess. So we just have nice exposed wood edge. Our rub rail will cover that up. So don't worry about that. And then we'll run a staple, a T50, a half inch staple, about every four to six inches all the way around the boat, just to hold everything down, help that glue cure. And especially if you have a rub rail that sandwiches the plywood and the flooring, carpet or vinyl, you'll really want a staple to make it a lot easier to get that deck trim back on. So Corey's running a pneumatic staple gun. This is a $35 staple gun from Home Depot. It's an Aero brand. Works great, gets the job done. And that's just gonna help hold down that edge, let that glue cure up and help to get the rub rail on. This is a beautiful floor. One of my favorite floors to lay. The lines give it a next level sharp look. Awesome, it's gonna look awesome when we get, awesome, a lot of awesomes. It's gonna look great when we get the furniture up here, the railings on. This is an awesome option. There it goes again. It's a great option for your floor.